So now we are going back to Tamale to join Sandra Afeno. We lost her there, but then we'll go back then. She was talking about the excitement there when President John Dramani Mahama was taking the oath of office coming from the north. I'm sure the people were quite excited. We'll be joining her shortly for the reaction. But let me go straight to our Facebook page again and take your reaction on the expectation of the Mahama government in its first hundred days in office. Okay, Nako, thanks Sandra. so much for joining us once again. We had a bit of hitches there. That is how far. And so, as I said early on, we are coming to you live from Tamale to be precise. The um, STC Bad Terminal where a lot of workers talked work to be part of the inaugural ceremony of President John Dramani Mahama. Most people here believe that it's indeed an important day for them here in this part of the country. And I've been speaking to some people on the expectations about what is happening. Yes, so I'll briefly be talking to a few people to find out um, what exactly is Okay, so um, thank you very much for joining us on TV. Um, thank you very much. You're live on TV. Thank you. Okay, please um, briefly introduce yourself because I know you're an important person as far as our president is concerned. What is your name and what do you do? Thank you. My name is Abu Hassan. I'm currently the national uh, I'm athletic coach for the region. I work with the National Sports Council. Okay. You happen to be a, a very close person to um, the, the, the president. I understand that you were the school son, like we say, it, um, the one who served uh, President Mahama back in um, Tamale Secondary School. Ghana Secondary. Sorry, Ghana Secondary School. Yeah, that's Is that so? And um, growing up, looking at him all over the years, becoming a member of parliament and then deputy minister, then to minister, then rose to vice president. Did you see this day coming? Yeah, he was a special person in school. So this is not surprising at all to me. Yeah. And how do you feel watching your own school father, we should say, um, now, uh, you know, giving the mantle to lead the nation for the next four years? Uh, great, great. He said something that was so touching. It dawned on me. He mentioned Tete Kwashi, among others. Tete Kwashi was a single, an individual who changed the lives of Ghanaians. Most Ghanaians think that um, they need to, to lead this country to make things happen. You don't necessarily have to lead this country to make things happen. An individual has changed the lives of millions of Ghanaians here. So we should just emulate what Tete Kwashi did and we should all be proud of him. You know, I'm, I come from CPP, okay? And I want to tell my brothers in the opposition parties that you don't necessarily have to lead this country to make things happen. They should all be part of this government. Okay, thank you very much. So that was, as I should put it, the school son of President John Dramani Mahama back in Ghana Secondary School. Um, you are live on TV3. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, good afternoon. I'm listening to the president. He spoke about unity, um, a collective responsibility of all Ghanaians to come on board to build a better Ghana. What do you like about today's ceremony and his message? Actually, um, today, today um, our occasion was a very big one and happy one, of course, especially the entire nation. Actually, he spoke a lot. And, you know, he was urging every individual Ghanaian to come together as one. And he's trying to say that every individual Ghanaian are masters of their own fate. And for that matter, we should come together and build up Ghana and make Atamil's, the late president, good spirit lives in everybody. Okay, thank you. I'll try as much as possible to speak to a lady. Um, thanks so much for joining us and you're live on TV3. I'm sure you are happy to be part of this day. How excited are you? I'm very happy to see the president swearing today. It's like there is peace in the country and like everybody is very happy. I mean, they should look at the president and the late president knows the way they talk to the public and the way they do their things so that we learn from them and then we become one people in the country. I like the way things is going on today. So these are live pictures from Tamale here in the northern region. And we are live coming to you live from the SEC Bad Terminal here. And um, just trying to speak to people to 
see how they saw the ceremony today. And um, hello, madam, you're live on TV3. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, I'm sure you listened to the president. More importantly, when he spoke about, you know, he mentioned key people really um, came from nowhere to become great leaders in this country. And obviously, urging all of us to, you know, as a matter of whoever we are, well, wherever we are coming from, we can become leaders one day. How do you feel to be part of today's process? Thank you very much. First of all, I will use this opportunity to say a congratulation to the president. And secondly, I'm very proud to be a Ghanaian. Well, a lot of people are excited about his outfit. What do you think about his outfit? Oh, I'm also happy about it because nobody was expecting him to come out with that outfit. It was a surprise, right? Oh, it was very surprised, and we are very happy to see him in that in that costume. Okay, so thank you very much. There's a live pictures from Tamale here in the northern region where we've been speaking to a group of people who gathered to watch the proceedings live on TV3 and here in Tamale, and they've been speaking about the ceremony. They think that it was indeed an interesting one, and we'll be following them here in the northern region and then get back to you in the course of the day. Over to you, Napo, in the studios. Quite an excited crowd there. That was Sandra Fenu from the Tamale, from Tamale, Northern Regional Capital, bringing us some reaction from the region. Now we're going over to Kumasi, uh, specifically, we're going to Asawasi. That's where our Shanti Regional Correspondent is, Evans Inkum. And he will also be bringing us some reaction from the region, as you may be aware. Millions watched on TV and on radio. Not everyone was able to go to the Indian Hendon Square. And, um, now, let's go to Kumasi. My colleague, Ibrahim Abubakar. Ibrahim, um, in, the, in the course of the president's speech, I gathered the president saying, he, in, in fact, reaffirming his commitment to building a robust economy and also having belief in today's modern Ghana. What did you gather from the president's speech? Well, I think um, all that he said was precise and concise. And um, as, a, as a young um, gentleman who has read a lot about Ghana's democracy, I think even if uh, at the time we started our democracy, even if you were seeing your mother's room, well, <laughs> that, is, that is just by the by. But then, do you think that the country democratic credential has been spiced up, having um, followed the trend of our democracy? Well, I think um, as a young person, um, I'm proud of our democratic credentials. Because looking from 1992 up to date, um, you've seen that the country has produced um, governments without any form of subversion. And this achievement, I think, has um, ushered the country to be the hub of democracy, especially in the sub-Saharan African countries. I think this even drew the attention of the um, first African-American president, Barack Obama. He, he chose Ghana to be the first African country um, to visit after his um, assumption in office. And I think that, um, this ogre war for the country as a whole. I think it's something that we, we have to be very proud of. Um, Atom, as you are normally called, um, during the, 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 the course of the event, I saw you making a very brief Jamburi, what moment actually caught your attention? Well, what uh, caught, uh, caught my attention was the presence of uh, the two former presidents, uh, former President Rawlings and former President Kofo. The way that they went in to embrace uh, the, 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 His Excellency, the President, that moved me to accept uh, a situation where uh, it is meant that there's peace in the country. Okay, you, you, you are an old man, let me so to speak. <laughs> we are just young people. Um, tell us, run us through the country's democracy. Do you think that Ghana has done enough? Well, Ghana has done enough. And I think from, from the days of Kwame Nkrumah up to now, uh, the, 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 the democracy, which we were, we were always saying it is growing, it is growing, has now grown to a level where people have good intentions. Madam, um, I, I, I like your dress. Uh, my name is William Evan Sinkun. What is yours? My name is Hawaii, sir. Well, I can see you are, you are in NDC colors, actually. Every Ghanaian, every Ghanaian is happy. Ghana, Nibia, NIJ, say I swear in new president. But let me say, NIJ can see a panel here. I'm a boy. 
Then you are five. If you send this city, I mean, who will be a medium of two? If you said this year, I call my kind DC for my and Yajapa. It's your way, need your party, my and DC, and a John, Ramani, Mamma, your dear Nipa, man, say, your man, congratulations, say, what father. President, you can never be brave, and you are about obey. Um, a dear partner, offer free, and in some Kaya or Kaya, Najidia Bay, and our war, our President John Ramani Mahamu. Maybe the Okaya Mamma and Nijian, a Haji Fordian. If he's a Haji, a few way, one young Tinamu cry, a comaca, any Ajapa. Into one Kosua, my and India, a comaca, ten bia, or Rama, your whole toy, and send you a few way, and your whole toy, and one maca. All right, um, Haji has only a Haji in the Kuno. Me name, and also so, Bibi Kakra, President Kaya, also a show and cry, our GD, when you did your strong home, our President John Dramani Mahama, who bet him in a Yachi. I think um, one thing that has really caught the attention of these uh, people who actually monitor the event throughout the day was the president's commitment to streamlining the Hajj um, occasion. I mean, like, the, 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 the Hajj event that is actually characterized or something that we see um, annually. We've seen um, Muslims I mean, going to Mecca to um, exalt the Allah or the Most High. Madam, um, my name is Wadame mm -hmm. My name is Josephine. I'm sure you monitor the bench throughout. Um, what actually caught your attention? Hey, uh, me I but the say, only the test, if we now are swallowed, in the test, multi-test. Say yes, Alright, so this woman is also saying that the president's um, speech has really um, evoked kind of um, 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 confidence in her and she's um thinking or she's um contemplating that so far the president has um the press or the president of the ndc has been able to commit herself to the establishment of more schools i mean encouraging teachers is also one factor that needs to be considered a look at um, yeah madam you um Yo, Mate, me, me per se won't carry big cra and for President John Ramani Mahama and then any swan into office. Um a day and uh then I saw a president a kind of a show in crime. Um but I did all kind of say a shame in crime, but I mean per se me cows. I've been there for the SI Najidadish, but two school in Yara, they end up me AK Kim Kwanchianka Li AK. So she moved my money. I'm going to do a lie to my case. Ye ki aye. I've been there to jail magana. A lie about she saw a new magana. I've been there to win. You mean some way are you for wise? We are like him. I've been a but to feel nyara. Yende zai education to ye kyo. Move my money. I'm going to do a money. I'm a mobile. So I am peace. No, look at my money. I'm going to ki aye. So a lie about she saw. I've been there to see. A lie about she saw a new. A lie don't care about some money. All right, so um, each and everyone here has actually shown um, kind of confidence or sh in, in, the, in the president. They believe that um, John Romani Mahama administration will be able to move this country forward. And um, that is the expectation of every single Ghanaian. And um, all that President Mahama needs, according to them, is prayers in order to um, help him move the country forward. So we continue our live coverage and uh, we will be moving to other areas like we said earlier we are bringing this live event at your doorstep so never forget to down continue to watch tv3 as we bring you every single event that unfolds until then i'll hand you over to Lako Pabla. right thanks evan Sinkum, coming through with those live pictures